With the .NET MAUI single project approach, you have an easy way of adding a splash screen once, and that will automatically be used for Android and iOS. But maybe what you want for iOS is to still use a storyboard for the splash screen. In this video, that's exactly what we're going to see. While .NET MAUI and especially the single project approach makes it super easy to just define a splash screen once or an app icon once and use that for all the platforms that are supported, you can still reach into the platform's power and just use whatever is available on that platform. So for iOS, for instance, for the splash screens, you can still use a launch screen with a storyboard if that's what you prefer. If you have designers that created this crazy cool storyboard um, that you were using with your Xamarin app and now you want to port that to your .NET MAUI app, you can still absolutely do that. So in this video, that's what we're going to see. We're going to leave the splash screen intact for Android and any other platforms that might support it. And we're going to see how to use a custom iOS storyboard for our .NET MAUI app. So we have the best of both worlds. So here I am not in Visual Studio this time. If you've been watching my channel, then I usually jump straight into Visual Studio, but now we're going to do things a little bit different. So I'm going to go to Xcode. Don't be scared. We're going to jump into Visual Studio in a little bit, but you need Xcode for this because um, I just want to tell you if you want to use a storyboard and you need to start one from scratch, how to do it. Um, but if you already have an existing one, you can skip, skip this step and you can just go to um, the next part where I'm going to use that actual storyboard. But if you want to create a new one for whatever reason, you just start Xcode, do file, new file. And there you have a template for actually creating a launch screen. You can see it right here. So we have user interface, you have all these kinds of things. Don't go with the default storyboard. You want to go with the launch screen that has some specific settings for the launch screen. So just go next. You can save it wherever you want. We're going to put it in the right place in a little bit. Um, I typically don't want to use spaces in my um, uh, file names here. So I'm just going to remove that. And I'm going to call it launch screen .storyboard. Click create. And now you can start designing here on um, Xcode with your storyboard. Now I'm not great with Xcode. I'll tell you that. So um, I'm just going to give this a very quick and basic design right here. Um, so let's just make this a little background here with a, I don't know, system purple. I'm just, I actually have a storyboard prepared. So um, you can do a couple of things here. You can add um, content to this if that's what you want. You can add labels, you can add images, you can add all that stuff here. Create a cool storyboard. You're probably a much better designer than I am. If you've done that, we can now switch over to Visual Studio. Um, so let's just do that. And I have here prepared Visual Studio Code um, because that's where you can run your .NET MAUI apps from as well right now. And I have mirrored my physical um, iOS device. Why that is, I'll tell you that in a little bit. So we've got that in place. And um, I'm going to show you where the storyboard goes first. So here in the kind of like file explorer, I'll zoom that in a little bit. It won't be prettier, but I'll, it, it will make it more clear, hopefully. So let me zoom in here a little bit. I have the Solution Explorer and here on the resources. So this is your .NET MAUI project, right? The single project. You can see the CS project is open right here. And we have the resources and I have my launch screen .storyboard just added right there in the resources. You can stick it in a subfolder if that's what you want, as long as you get the path right in the next step that I'm going to show you. But I just stuck it in like the root of the resource um, um, folder right here. So my launch screen .storyboard is in here. Um, and now let's zoom out. And now we want to go to our CS proj. So um, the CS proj file, you have all this stuff in here. I'm targeting .NET 7 right now. That will be .NET 8 really soon. Uh, I'm going to scroll down because there is a note here for the MAUI splash screen, right? That's in the default template. MAUI splash screen is going to use that splash.svg. It's going to have a background color, super cool stuff. Whenever you set this up, it will just use that splash svg put that in the center of your screen, um, give this the background color, and you have a super basic, but enough for a lot of people, splash screen right now. We don't want to do that for iOS anymore. So what I did is add this condition. This is something that is available throughout the build system in .NET, uh, throughout all kinds of projects. You can have these conditions and do all kinds of cool stuff. You can already see it here in the default template. We're doing this for like making differences between Android and Windows and Tizen and do all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to add one of myself condition and I'm going to check if the target platform identifier is not iOS. So whenever we're not going to build for iOS, I'm going to still use this splash screen. So this is still going to work for Android this way. 
Perfect. That's what we want. Now, what we do want to do is add that storyboard for only iOS because Android doesn't know how to handle storyboards. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. And here I have this new item group. Now you can set this up in a couple of different ways. A new item group seems to make sense for this. Um, and we can also add a condition on that item group. So here I did condition if it is iOS, so if it's equal to iOS. So here you can see it's not equal to iOS. Here you can see it's equal to iOS. And what I want to do is then add this file under resources launch screen storyboard. If you've put it in a subfolder, add that here. Um, and you're going to add that storyboard. And here, this makes up what the build action is going to be. So typically in uh, full Visual Studio or whatever you want to call the other Visual Studio on Windows, you could go to right click properties, you can set the build action. And that basically sets this tag right here. So we're going to set this to interface definition. This is still something that lives on the xamarin.ios, which is now called um, .NET for iOS layer. It's still there, you can still use it, even though we kind of like made an abstraction on top of that with .NET MAUI. Interface definition, include file, and we have that launch screen, which is going to be incorporated in the right way in our iOS app right here. So we got all of that set up. And there is one more thing that you want to do, because now we have to specify where our launch screen is specifically for iOS. So let's go back to our file explorer, and I'm going to go to platforms. Let me just zoom this in a little bit for you again. Platforms, iOS, and we need to go into the info P list. Now, if you've been doing this for Xamarin before, then you know know what is coming probably. So we're going to um, do this, I'm going to zoom out again. And in the info P list, you will have this entry where we're going to specify the key UI launch storyboard name. This is typically something if you use that Maui splash screen, we do that for you, we generate this for you, but now you will have to do it manually, because we're going to have to specify that launch screen. And this is just the file name without the dot storyboard extension. So if you choose to call it whatever, something else than launch screen, that's totally up to you. But you have to input that name here. Um, so you could also do a name it splash screen if that's what you want. Um, but you have to make sure that that this this name corresponds with the file name of your storyboard. This key is always going to be the same. So now that we have this set up, we can actually run it. So I have my physical device set up here. Uh, I have selected it here in uh, the uh, VS Code interface so that it's going to run on this thing right here. And I can actually start it. Now, the reason why I'm doing this on a physical device is that you can have a black splash screen whenever you're going to run this on a simulator. As of iOS 16.4 from the top of my head, the Apple, this is not something that we at Microsoft with .NET MAUI have um, thought up. This is something that Apple is now requiring us to do. I don't know why. You have to enable code signing to make your splash screen show up. So there's that, Apple being Apple. Um, so the easiest way to kind of like make sure that you're signing your app is to run it on a device because only signed code signed apps can run on a device. So that's why I'm doing it on my physical device. I think we have work underway to also um, by default code sign apps uh, that go to the simulator, you can totally do that. So you can have the full experience again, and you're not worried and concerned that your splash screen is not working. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you on a physical device. So let's go over to this run menu, run this on my device, it's going to come up here in a little bit. So let's just get this out of here. Um, it's building it's deploying. And we'll see in a little bit that the icon is going to actually install it on my device right here. And then whenever I start, you can see my beautiful designed splash screen. Finally, um, I haven't showed you because we didn't design it together in this video. And you can see here it is custom launch screen for .NET MAUI. Now you you're going to believe me that this is my storyboard that you've just seen um, that I added to this project, I've designed this as a storyboard in Xcode. And that's how to use a custom storyboard in iOS. Now this video gives you some very practical skills, how to use a storyboard on iOS with your .NET MAUI project. But I think there is a deeper meaning here. You still have the power to reach into the platform and use all the stuff that is available there that was available for Xamarin. We've made it easier with .NET MAUI and the single project to do all this stuff to have an easy splash screen to have an app icon. But if you want to do that custom thing, so that it will feel much more like it's supposed to be on this platform, and not have some abstracted way that feels just yeah, just a little bit off, you can totally still do that with Dan and Maui. If you have any questions about that, how to do this thing with Dan and Maui, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to answer with another video or maybe just in a comment. See you for the next one.